uh, make Hajar and abandon those people who are uh, sinful and those people who are doing bid'ah in the religion that have distorted the religious principles for example the extremists that we see and our brothers and sisters who are deceived by groups like ISIS and groups like Boko Haram and books like uh, and groups like other uh, deviant groups and deviant ideologues that it is Islamically permissible for you not to speak, not to give salams to those people if there is benefit in doing so. Meaning that someone of knowledge is looking at this issue and sees that by you giving this and leaving off salam to this person that it is going to make them come back to khair and leave off their bid'ah or that you are fearful of the harm of that person that you feel that being around that person they're going to debate and argue and and uh, maybe attack you physically or what have you that they're going to harm you and your religion or they have more knowledge of, than you and they will affect you in a negative way in this case it's also mishroor and permissible for you to make hajr and leave them alone or that you feel that this is a punishment for them and that this will help correct them in their errors that's also another reason to make hijra or hajr from uh, people and those are just some of the uh, types and situations for abandonment and return to the books of the sunnah and the books of the ulama that have spoken extensively about this issue like imam al-albani and other than him and some of the uh, other contemporary scholars imam fozan Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi al Medkhali, uh, Sheikh uh, Ibrahim Rahili, Sheikh uh, Sheikh Salim al Halali, and, and many, many scholars who've written extensively, and some of those works are translated into English. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.